It is coming. It is, it is coming. <laughs> Internet. I'm Color Forty, and welcome to Toy Story 2. Not the movie, no, not the movie. Although we will be seeing movie clips in this. Remember, this is the Toy Story 2 action game that, uh, not Nintendo, that Disney Interactive made. This, despite what you might think, this is actually a very good game. Like, it's really well done. It's very fun. It's also got groovy music. It's just very well put together. So before I start the game. I've got to configure the controls, so that's good, that's fine. I do not want spacebar to be jump, I'm setting that to X. Fire can be Z. Spin can be C. Camera left. Visor toggle is tab, yeah, that's alright. Target lock, alright. Okay, didn't like that. Wait, it did... No, it didn't even save. That's not good. I'm sorry about that. Also, I hope you love hearing You've Got a Friend in Me, the instrumental version, because you're going to be hearing that a lot in this game. But yeah, Toy Story 2 action game. I got this when I was young, and... I, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it actually is, like, a really fun game. Okay, cancel. No, I don't want that to be that. Um... Won't let me do escape, so I'll make that space bar. I'll make cancel enter, I guess. There. Okay, that should have saved it. Yeah, because escape is just by default. Go back. All right. <laughs> Enough dawdling. It's time to start the game. So, oh, that's right. Now the controls are mapped to how I want it. So this is like a 3D. Uh platformer kind of like Super Mario 64, so right now we can only go to one place, Andy's house, and for some reason you can hear buzz saws going on in there. Alright, let's see what's up. Stealing Woody! What? Stealing Woody. He can't Woody! It's illegal! Woody. Somebody do something! Buzz! So, like, yeah, we do see movie clips here. Get him, Buzz! They're just highly pixelated. And in short bursts, so hopefully I won't get copyright claims from Disney. By the way, if you haven't seen the movie, you're going to be very confused as to what's happening right now. <laughs> if you haven't seen Toy Story 2, watch it. It's amazing. Yeah, it's like, who's that guy in the car? What's with all these feathers? Well, granted, in the movie, you don't know what's with all the feathers anyways. But, yeah. Oh, man, the load times are not going to be fun, but hopefully there won't be too many of those. So, level one, Andy's house, and Rex is the mascot for this level, apparently. Let's start! So, yeah, as you can see, we can have free roaming mode. Oh, I didn't even try to kill them. So, these are the coins. You want to get these. Your, the main collectible in the game is p our Pizza Planet tokens. So, it's, those are kind of like the power stars for Mario 64, where you get uh, more Pizza Planet tokens, you can go to new levels, and those are just like the main unlockable in the game. And every level has five Pizza Planet tokens on them. For one of them, you need to get 50 coins and give them to Ham, so always be on the lookout for those. And you notice we have the double jump, we can also charge our laser. So that'll be important to know. And man, the music is good. If you see the push icon, you could run into the object and push it out of the way. Seriously, the music is so good. Man, okay, wow. Andy's got a tiny bed in proportion to Buzz. Look at that. If you press the jump button once and then press it again, you can do the extended jump. Try to, you, to reach the open drawer. How would you get here without the extended jump? Aw, oh, darn it. Sometimes the depth perception in this game isn't the best. Also, sometimes the uh, <laughs> physics aren't the best, but this is a very fun game nonetheless. Oh, I didn't even have to go over there. All 
I remember Andy's room having more stuff in it in the movie, but whatever. Oh, wow. Nice. That looks two-dimensional, just like it follows you everywhere you go. <laughs> You can jump onto zip lines to slide down them. Press jump to let go of the line. This is one of the coolest parts of the game. And you can jump up early with that. Oh, yep. And if you fall for a long distance, Puzzle starts saying, Whoa, whoa. Okay, that's an extra life. You can target your laser by using the vi visor view. Press the visor toggle button to activate the view, then press the target lock button to swap between visible targets. Then press fire to use your laser. Use it to shoot the catches holding up the side of the crib. Yeah, so, as you can see, we are in first person mode. We also have a reflection of Buzz's face in the visor. You can see, kind of. So, if you push the to uh, lock on button, you can shoot that. Sometimes you, uh, doesn't always work, though. Just press tab again, and you'll get out of that view. And apparently Andy's got a game box. Never had one of those myself. I don't think those exist. But, yeah, we've explored Andy's actual room long well enough. Let's go out. And Andy apparently has evil toys in his house? Alright, that's cool. That's a battery up there. That's kind of like your life energy for the game. I'm not damaged, so I won't go out there. I'm not going to hit every single one of Rex's info boxes, because, I mean, that's what you guys have me for, right? Whew. <laughs> Never fear, Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Yeah, apparently Andy's a huge fan of having saw blades in his house. Andy doesn't even have a workshop in the garage. <laughs> Thanks, Buzz. Yeah, this game, all in all, though, is very well put together. I like it a lot. I also like the Bugs Life action game, but this is way better than the Bugs Life action game. Ah. Whoa. Okay, so that's gonna... Apparent... What, what, the, what the heck? The shovel is standing, like, straight up. Like, that's not how shovels work. It would wobble over in an instant. Sometimes the uh, second jump makes you go a lot higher than other times. Kill the helicopter guy. This is a green laser. This basically upgrades your laser to green. You can... Also, Tim Allen will randomly say stuff if you stand still for long enough. But yeah, this basically means all of your shots are now fully charged. And holding uh, the fire button instead of charging it will just make you rapid fire it. However, you only have a certain amount, so I like to save it. jump at a horizontal bar, you will swing around it. Press jump when you have left the bar to jump farther and higher. Nice going, Buzz. Proud of you. That's not the way a real Space Ranger would do it. Alright, since we got the shortcut with the shovel, let's talk to RC. Hi, Buzz. I challenge you to a race. We will race free laps around the car. If you beat me, I'll give you a Pizza Planet token. Get ready to race. Three, two, one... Awesome race music! Uh oh. So I said one of the Pizza Planet tokens on the level is always just grab 50 coins. And then another one is always complete a race or timed challenge of some sort. The, um, whatever that green puddle is slows you down, so don't walk into there. Man, this is awesome! This music's so great, yes it really is. This game did a lot of things right, and music is definitely one of them. Aw, oh, man. Actually, this game still really holds up. Like, I know the graphics aren't great for nowadays, but like... This is still a really fun game. Don't underestimate it. So now, when you get a Pizza Planet token, you can choose to exit the level, but I'm going to keep on playing. You can't always get all the Pizza Planet tokens on your first playthrough of a level. Sometimes you need to unlock special gadgets and come back later. However, Andy's house, you can get them all in one go, so... And as you can see, our laser is green now. My favorite color. Whee! 
I'm also not pushing the jump button to jump off the bars. It'll automatically do it, so don't worry about that. Ham's gonna be happy with all this cash. Whee! Yeah, as you can see, my green laser meter is going down every time I shoot. And yes, that is a sheep up here. That's another one of the collectibles. Not just sheep, but every level will have like a unique collectible that you pick up. So for this level, it's sheep. Collect five of them, and you can get a Pizza Planet token if you bring them to the right person. And that applies to every level. If you collect the five collectibles and give them back to whoever wants them, you'll get a Pizza Planet token. Oh, come on! I don't want to waste all my green laser. You know? Alright, that's it for the garage. That was well timed. <laughs> Alright, oh, forgot. Actually, I didn't forget, but now that we've got the green laser, let's go up to the attic. Love the sound effects. Right. <laughs> also, there's a Game Boy Color version of this game. Don't buy that version. It is awful. Oh, and there's Rex. If you get close to NPCs, they'll start t uh, talking. As you can hear. Bust! Yeah, Rex. Oh. Oh, man. Look at that great graphics. <laughs> Rex is basically like... Listen to me. He basically tells you hints. You can move the boxes on the shelf in the basement to get to the token on the shelf. It's easier with the cosmic shield. Mr. Potato Head will let you use it if you find his ear for him. Yes, I, I heard you. Boss! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't care about all of Rex's hints. I've played this game before, a few times. I'm the one who should have the hints around here. Buzz is really good at climbing. Dane. Also, every level has a boss. Defeat the boss, you get a Pizza Planet token. So here... Ha 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 ha. Defeat the tin robot to get a token. Boss music is great, too. So basically, just wait for him to stop and crouch and then shoot him. And if you got the green laser, that deals a lot more damage than the red one. Granted, you can use charge shots to deal the same amount of damage, but... Green laser's cooler anyways. Goodbye, Tin Robot. Yes! This game is so fun! I'm I am having a blast playing this, guys. Like, let me tell you. I love the Toy Story series, and, like, there's the Toy Story 1 action game where you play as Woody and it's a side-scroller. That one's also fun, but it's nowhere near as fun as this game. This is actually a really well-made platformer, which Disney doesn't always do. Let's, I'll, just, I'll just say that. No offense, Disney. I, I love you, and I love your movies. Well, most of them. But... Man, like, you need to step up your A-game when it comes to video games. <laughs> I made a pun. Alright, we can push this. Also, Buzz makes the weirdest sound when he pushes veins. <laughs> yep, that's Buzz. <laughs> I don't think that was Tim Allen doing the voice acting. Actually, I wonder if Tim Allen did the voice acting for this. It sounds like most of Buzz's clips in this, it's just like... Oh, they cut the clip straight out of the movie. Alright. So there's a bar we want to swing on. Okay. Also, this is a seesaw. So, like, if you go up here, it'll start to fall. You actually don't want that. You want it to just walk up it like a... Ah, uh, slope in this. <laughs> also, I have encountered a glitch in this where 
on one of the levels you can fall a huge distance i did that and buzz just would never stop saying whoa 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 even after he had landed he was still just like whoa whoa for the rest of the level it was very annoying but also hilarious Whew. yeah Okay, I will say the nails don't look good. They, I, it's very obvious that it's like a 3D object, but with a 2D object, like, bladed over it. Because it looks exactly the same no matter where you look at it from. What the do? Hey. No. Oh, well, I missed one coin. I don't care. Hey, Rex. Oh, well. Rex, I, I don't have time for this. No time to lose. Buzz Lightyear has to save the world. Whoa! I love how no matter how high you fall from, Buzz never takes damage. Even though he does in the first movie. Oh yeah. You can also ground pound. Oh, oh yeah, I totally forgot. There's the spin move. It's close range, but it's more powerful than your laser. Some enemies can only be taken out by the spin. Also, you can hold it down and do a horizontal, like, tornado spin. I do not like doing that, because often it can very f frequently glitch, so it'll just be like... I am like that like for the rest of the level, which is not fun to hear. Okay. And also, if you uh, use the spin in midair, you do a ground pound. However, you can spin and then jump, just not jump and spin. So if we do a ground pound on the couch, BAM! Actually, that's a chair, but... Whatever. Also, where the heck is Andy? And where's Andy's mom? Did they just, like, abandon the house? Oh, well, Andy's at cowboy camp, obviously. Andy's mom... Oh, and Andy's mom is at the yard sale. Okay, never mind. This actually makes perfect sense. And Molly's out there, too. Okay, that's why their house is vacated. Oh, Bore. I just got 50 coins, and the ham icon appeared. Okay. Okay, come on. Seriously? Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Thank you. We did it. Did. I can hear Rex from here. That's weird. Well done, Buzz. Here's your Pizza Planet token. I'm not even gonna like try to do accurate impersonations of all the different toys. Do 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 do. I think I'll go to the basement. We never see the basement in the movie. Oh, that's... Oh, no, that's actually not... Whoa, that was cool. That was magic. Wait, why am I even going after the coins? I have them all anyways. Wait, I, I bet I could get the sheep, like, jumping from the stairs to them. Maybe not. What the heck? Andy, have you been make making nuclear waste in your basement? What is this? <laughs> Oh boy, it's Mr. Potato Head. So here's the deal. You hey. help me find my missing parts, and we're in business. Hey, Buzz, you need a cosmic shield to cross the green sludge. Well, I don't know why Andy has green sludge in his basement, but whatever. We needed more challenges in this platforming game. Find my missing Ian, and I'll let you use the cosmic shield. Cosmic shield stinks anyways, Mr. Potato Head, even though it's magic. Technically, I don't even need to use the Cosmic Shield. I'm trying to remember where is... Mi oh, that's right. Mr. Potato Head's ear is in the living room. I didn't pick it up. You want to give Mr. Potato Head his parts. That's how you unlock the gadgets that you need to uh, get all the stuff in the game. Du -du -du -du, Mr. Buzz Lightyear's here, too. Help everyone out, because Woody's not here to do it himself. Man, the music is so good. There we go. All right, Mr. Potato Head. I'm actually glad I didn't get that immediately, because that gave me an opportunity to show off everything he says. 
Buzz even leaves behind green footprints when he walks in the sludge. Wow, thanks, Buzz. In return for finding my ear, I'll let you use the Cosmic Shield. It will only protect you from harm for a little while, so make sure you use it wisely. The thing I don't like about the Cosmic Shield is it makes your jumping terrible, and you can't do the double jump. And it behaves like ice physics. How did Mr. Potato Head get his hand on this kind of technology? Huh, I made a pun. Did you catch that? How did he get his hands on it? <laughs> oh, I'm gonna just be over here. Wait, yep, see? The nails are actually solid. It's just impossible to tell where they are. <laughs> or where, the, like, their collision detection is. Wow! Buzz, why is it sometimes your double jumps are so much better than the other times? Alright, let's go get Miss Pe Peep's sheep. Alright, I don't need no stupid cosmic uh, shield anymore. I'll just take a little bit of damage. Okay, apparently Andy and his mom never actually finished unpacking when they moved uh, to a new house. And seriously, why do they have, like, nuclear waste in their basement? It makes no sense. Seriously, how many lasers does it take to kill a mook? Wee, all right. I'm gonna try to go through one level per episode. I am Buzz Lightyear. I come in peace. Actually, let's see if we can get this token earlier than usual. Probably not. Oh no, I'm gonna be stuck up there. Never mind. Let's do it the regular way. Nope. That sound effect is hilarious, and I, like, I don't care what anyone says, that sound effect's hilarious. No! Buzz Lightyear, not to the rescue. Hey. Hey, loser! There's no kill like overkill. Wait. I can do this. Chicken Little, I can do this! Buzz! There, oh, yep. Yeah! Shortcut! Yeah, one on each level, also one of the uh, the final Pizza Planet token will be just in a random place on the map. So in this case, that is just lying out up here. Okay, Buzz. Y y you gotta work with me, Buzz. Whee, alright. Keep on playing, because we still have one more sheep to find. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue! Also, the levels in this get very weird eventually, because... Let's be honest, they just don't go to that many places in Toy Story 2, so... Also, okay... Um... The Davis family might want to look into that! Andy's mom, are you aware that there is, um... Are you aware that your refrigerator is leaking? I hear you, Bo Peep. Stop being such an attention hog. There she is. Yeah. Hi, Buzz. Please find my five missing sheep. When you find them, come back and see me for a Pizza Planet token. Oh, I will. Bo Peep? Seriously, I heard you. It's so heavy to move a bucket. Probably is when you're a toy. Okay. Buzz, you, you gotta be consistent with your grab-ons, you know? Okay, Bo Peep, I hear you. Sheep in the sink? No, she's not in the sink. Okay, Andy's mom, if you're gonna have a yard sale, you need to turn off the stove! You have all four burners still running. You also have a pot of water on here that's shooting boiling water around. 
And you left the coffee maker running. Like, how have they lived this long? Seriously. Also, what were you thinking when you painted the walls of here, like, gold? Oh, also, since I'm gonna run out of green lasers, or since I'm basically done with the level anyways... There. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So now we have to use this, like... It's a scale, but apparently you can use it as a trampoline, and we need that to get up to the sheep. This can be a bit tricky. You gotta time your second jump just right. Yeah! Alright, Bo Peep. Found your sheep. Now give me a kiss. You found my sheep, Buzz. Thank you. This is for Woody when you find him. Alright! First level down! To infinity and beyond! And Buzz hit the ceiling. Um, hi Rex. That's not supposed to happen. Oh yeah. All five Pizza Planet tokens. And Ham is like, I didn't think you could make it. I'll be honest. And you can see those five things on the bottom. There's the Cosmic Shield and then four Silhouettes. Those are the rest of the gadgets that we will get in the game. Hey Slinky Dog, you need to save my game. Daddly bye bye. Alright, so that was Andy's house. First level Toy Story 2 action game. Great game. Uh, this is this is going to be a fun Let's Play to do. I haven't played this in a while, and it still holds up. Thank you very much for watching. I'm Colorful Artie. Tune in for the next episode. We're going to go outside of Andy's house to Andy's neighborhood. Have a great day, and God bless.